Okay, folks, we're going to do a test on this uh, old police turn-in point-blank vest. We're going to shoot this vest using 9mm Corbon 115 grain DPX rounds. Now, DPX rounds are a little different than, say, jacketed hollow point rounds. The main difference being it's just all brass. There, there's no lead. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and see how we do. I'm, I'm the only one holding the camera, so i got to one-hand this. I'm going to try to hit this uh, vest ten times. I'm not going to group my shots. Uh, that way we get it spread out throughout the vest to see how we do. Let's give it a shot. Okay, my weapon is empty and clear. Now let's see how this vest held up against these uh, core bombs. I'm a little excited to see this because these vests have stopped a lot, stopped a lot of different rounds. Um, but I'm not so sure about the Corbon DPX round, so let's let's take a look. Okay, so it does look like I got my hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gosh, did I miss one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I got ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually thought I missed one. I would have been disappointed in myself. All right, so first we're going to take this out, out of carrier off. Give me just a second. So I'm taking this out of carrier off. It's going to take me just a second to pass it off. Okay, now that we've done that, you'll notice that some of, some of these shots are real close down here by the edge. Okay. So now we're going to take this. Now we're going to take this inner carrier off and get to the panel itself. Okay. Almost done. Okay. So we're looking at the outer panel. Here's my shots. Again, some of them are down here on the edge. Okay. Now I could feel these slugs in here. Yeah, I could definitely feel the slugs in here. So as I peel this back, I mean, here's a slug right here. Okay. Notice that these got all my hits. Let's flip this over. Oh, did we have did we have one penetrate you know what I'll be it looks like we may have a winner so so this will be the first this will be the first one of these tests where one went through but I do think it's possible that might have gone through so so let's look what we got. I don't have any penetration on any of my shots. I do have a dimple behind one. Okay, pretty good sized dimple. I can still feel, I can feel the round in there. I can feel the slug in there. But over here, this one's a little different story, okay? It's only one out of the 10. But you see that? I think that might have gone through. So let's take a look. So here's where it would have hit. Went through, went through. Yeah, went through. Look at that, we have a winner. We do have a round that looks like went through this point blank vest. So it was a Corbon DPX round, 115 grains, nine millimeter. Okay, nine millimeter. Now the, the vest was shot. 
a total of 10 times, it appears as though one of the 10 did in fact go through. See that, folks? So I can say that 90% of the time, based on my test, it stopped these rounds. On my other test, it stopped every round, whether it be a full metal jacket, whether it be just a jacketed hollow point, but the Corbon DPX round, one of the 10 did go through. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I see these videos all the time and shooting these vests myself has really given me a different perspective on how they act and those sorts of things. So um, I hope you folks enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.